In this video, we're going to continue looking at two-step equations. It is very important that we are comfortable solving two-step equations as we move forward in our study of algebra. The reason this is so important is, as we move on, we will be solving more complex problems, such as these problems. And while each of these problems have their own way that they start as we attempt to solve them, the last two steps for all of them and many other types of problems will be a basic two-step equation. So let's take a look at solving these. We always balance through the equal sign as we attempt to get the variable alone on one side. On this first equation, the x is on the left. We start by getting rid of the single units, the positive 7, by subtracting 7 from both sides. Because a positive 7 and negative 7 will give us 0, so we now have negative 3x equals negative 15. Finally, to get the x alone, because it's multiplied by negative 3, we're going to have to divide by negative 3 on both sides. This gives us our final answer, x is equal to 5. In this second problem, negative 2 plus 9x equals 7, we can follow the same pattern. We start by get to getting x alone on the left side by getting rid of the term that has no x on it the negative 2, which stands alone, which we get rid of with two positives on both sides of the equation. This gives us 9x equals 9. Finally, if 9 times x is 9, we can get rid of the 9 in front of the x by dividing both sides by 9 to give us x equals 1. In this third example, the x is on the right side. The pattern remains the same, however, that we balance on the equal sign, this time getting x alone on the right side. First, getting rid of the positive 10 that stands alone with 10 negatives. This gives us negative 2 equals 2x as the 10 subtract out. Finally, to get the x alone, we divide both sides by 2. This gives us x equals negative 1, and we have our solution. Similarly, on the next problem, 7 minus 5x equals 17, we start getting x alone on the left side by getting rid of the 7 single units with 7 neg negative units on both sides. This gives us negative 5x equals 10. Because the negative 5 is multiplied by x, to undo the multiplication, we have to divide both sides by the negative 5. The negative 5's will divide out, and we get x equals negative 2. In this next example, we need to get rid of 5 negatives as we start getting the x alone. Get rid of the 5 negatives with 5 positives. This gives us negative 3x equals negative 5 plus 5 is 0. Finally, since that's negative 3 times x, we undo multiplication with division by dividing by negative 3 to give us x equals 0. This last problem has a slight difference to it. This time, instead of... This time, instead of multiplying x by something, x is divided by something. However, the pattern remains the same. First, we get rid of whatever is added or subtracted, the negative 4 units, with 4 positive units on both sides. This gives us 1 equals x over 5. And now, because that fraction bar represents division, we can clear that division with the opposite of division, which would be to multiply by the 5. Notice this accomplishes the same thing as the 5's divide out, and we get 5 times 1 is 5, equal to x. We would want to, in practice, check all of these answers by plugging the numbers that we got back in for x. Notice negative 3 times 5 in the first example is negative 15, plus 7 is negative 8, like we want. These two-step equations all will solve in about the same manner. We get x alone on either the left or right, by adding or subtracting the constant term, then dividing by the coefficient of x.